What's going on, everybody? DJ Graham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farm Tip News, baby. Hashtag Farm Tip News. Today, we've got 23 PC mods in testing. We've got 10 console mods in testing. With all those nine mods were released today, Giants have made an announcement on the ongoing pandemic around the world. Oxy has news on Sandy Bay. Black Sheep Mining have found the problem with the man 6x6. 4D Mining have a collector for the Baby Bells Plus. Lancy Boy is hard at work on Stone Valley for consoles. Let's check it out. In testing for PC, we have the Anaburger HDD Pack, Bell Storage Pack, EDM 3X4P, BKT FL 648, Bosini B280, Bosini B350, Dan Greville PE32, Fire Extinguisher, Geiselsberg, Global Company Add-on, Grain Storage, John Deere 3765, Cody Garant PT, Ladder Pack, Large Pallet Warehouse, Meyer Holland Fred 23, Mobile Fuel Tank, Old Brick Barn, Original DDR Backlights, Caesars Geo Okanogan Valley, Caesars Geo Western Australia, Wash Station, and the Zunhammer SK KE pack. In testing for console, we have Barn Pack, Bison Z058NH, Cow Stable, Cody Grant PT, La Cornella, Lizard D35 Pack, Mini Brune, New Holland T8, Presmus Hour, and a Swifter Disc XO6000F. With all that being said, we still have 94 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is five workdays. In addition to the mods in testing, nine new and updated mods were released to the Mod Hub today. New for all platforms, we've got the Swift Swifter Disc XO6000F. Updates for all platforms. We've got the new Holland T8 and Seasons Geo South Poland. New for PC and Mac, we have Fertilizer Production, Machio Drago DC, and the Lambert 10T. And updates for PC and Mac, we have the Stasia and Trent System, Small Sawmill, and Reverse Speed Limit. I've already made a video showing these off, which you can find linked below. Giants have released a statement regarding what is going on in the world right now. They say this, Dear fans, since the situation around the pandemic still evolves and safety measures get reinforced around the world, we want to let you know that Giant Software is doing everything possible to protect not only our employees, but the public safety by having implemented various precautions. Keeping our employees and fellow citizens healthy is a top priority. This means all of our team implemented home office policies and most of the staff has vacated the offices due to the risk to slow down and spread the infection. This also means everyday work and various responsibilities may underlie temporary interruptions. For example, our overall response time may slow down in some cases. These are hard times for everyone and we're still working hard to maintain all of our services for you to enjoy. Please stay home, follow the behavioral guidelines provided by experts, and don't forget to have fun. Thank you for your patience and understanding. We are thankful for our supportive community and welcome every new virtual farmer looking for a way to virtually relax and these trying times. Stay safe and farm on. Giants, software, relax, whatever. We're gonna go crazy with Farming Simulator. Oxygen David has announced that Sandy Bay has come back from Giants with a huge fix list and he's working on getting everything fixed up as soon as possible. Sandy Bay will release on PC first with the console version coming later on. Black Sheep Modding have found the issue with the Man 6x6 where console players were having problems using it. They have fixed the shop error with the salt support container Fix the front three-point attacher to the man 33414 6x6 truck, that is the truck itself. Fix the tension belt on the Bell TR container and adjusted the brightness of the rear flashers. They go on to say that this update will be coming soon for all platforms with no specific release date known yet. The update still needs to pass testing with Giants. 4D Mining are working on the Ritchie Flat 8 Sledge Bell container for the Galignani Small Baler. This will collect and organize the bells into groups and easily collect later. I know lots of you have been wanting to see a mod like this for a long time, and I'm excited to see it myself. There's currently no release date or platform information known. And lastly, today, Lancy Boy has said that Stone Valley is still in progress. He is sorting out the weight files and tightening up the map. He goes on to say the map has shrunk a lot for console players. He's trying to keep it as close to the PC version as possible and add some terrain adjustments as well. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel, join the Go Ham fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss a Farm Sim News or daily Farming Simulator video here on the channel. With all that being said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace!
shaved. Did you notice? 